Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's 4th of July weekend, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of July 5th, 2024, Clean Energy Fuel Score is currently sitting at a value of $2.36 per share. Ranger Energy Services is up to $10.24 per share. Evergy has gotten up to $52.82 per share. Republic Services Incorporated is currently sitting at $194.89 per share. And Waste Management has gotten up to $210.33 per share. But moving into the news, first up, the U.S. Energy Information Administration is reporting that U.S. energy production exceeded consumption by record amounts for 2023. According to the EIA, U.S. energy production rose 4% to nearly 103 quadrillion British thermal units, otherwise known as quads, in 2023, a record for the country. On the other hand, energy consumption fell by 1% to 94 quads during that same period. That nine quad margin is the widest since 1949 within the United States. For decades, the U.S. has been a net consumer of energy, using up more energy than it produces. However, many people attribute what they call the renewable energy revolution to that trajectory changing over the past 15 years. And now moving to Massachusetts, State Governor Maura Healey announced the formation this past week of a new panel charged with guiding the state's transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy. The so-called Energy Transformation Advisory Board includes representatives of labor, business, finance, and environmental justice advocacy organizations, as well as utilities, building owners, and developers. The board will advise the newly established Office of Energy Transformation, which has been given the task of affordably and responsibly accelerating the state's gas to electric transition and readying the electric grid to meet the state's climate and clean energy mandates. Massachusetts has set a goal of a 50% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 and net zero emissions by 2050. And up next, two companies within the landfill gas slash biogas sector, Monitoring Control and Compliance and Biovac Industrial Services, announced this past week their merger to form LFG Service Partners Incorporated. The combined company aims to expand its footprint and scope of services, leveraging the experience and expertise of both brands. The company will be headquartered in Wadsworth, Ohio, and will focus on providing enhanced service offerings in landfill gas and biogas sector management, as well as industrial cleaning solutions. James Baird, the CEO of LFG Service Partners Incorporated, said, quote, We are thrilled to announce the merger of MCC and BioVac to create LFG Service Partners Incorporated. Both companies have built strong reputations for innovation, quality service, and customer satisfaction in their respective fields. By combining our strengths, we are in a stronger position to offer comprehensive solutions that meet the evolving needs of our clients while expanding our reach in the market, end quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. And we're not quite done with mergers and acquisitions yet because Heritage Environmental Services and General Dynamics announced this past week they have entered into a definitive agreement pursuant to which Heritage, via a subsidiary, will acquire EBV from General Dynamics. EBV is a leading provider of energetic waste disposal within North America with a comprehensive set of commercial, government, and industrial waste disposal assets. They provide complete demilitarization and energetics waste disposal services, including characterization, analysis, and transportation for on-site storage treatment disposal and even recycling where possible. 
H.P. Nanda, the CEO for Heritage Environmental Services, said, quote, We're thrilled for the opportunity to strengthen our energetics management position with the addition of EBV and expand our capabilities into the demilitarization market. The addition of EBV will enable the growth of our incineration services to enhance our ability supporting the needs and challenges of our customers. Our shared values of safety and sustainability provide a strong foundation for our future growth. End quote. And up next, according to its owner, Fraser Valley Biogas in British Columbia, this past month achieved not only its highest single day, but also its highest monthly production of renewable natural gas at its bio waste to fuel facility, posting numbers of 530 gigajoules for a single day and 10,758 gigajoules for a month. Fraser Valley Biogas's previous highest monthly production was 9,716 gigajoules in February. A spokesperson for Evergen said, quote, Our efforts have translated into tangible results as we expect the facility to exceed its nameplate capacity of 160,000 gigajoules per year once fully ramped up. Along with ongoing optimization efforts and the completed installation of the third digester, Evergen remains committed to its production goals and meeting the increasing demands for RNG and low-carbon infrastructure in Canada. End quote. And lastly, the South Dakota Department of Agriculture and Natural Resources announced that just shy of $65 million in grants and loans had been approved this past week for drinking water, wastewater, stormwater, and solid waste projects in South Dakota. The total amount consists of $768,000 in grants and just over $64 million in low-interest loans. Among the cities being awarded the money are Brighton, Central City, Chamberlain, Deadwood, and Sioux Falls, among many others. Funds were awarded from the department's Drinking Water State Revolving Fund Program, Solid Waste Management Program, Consolidated Water Facilities Construction Program, and the Water Environment Fund. And that'll do it for your Independence Day 2024 Recyclist News Roundup, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I hope everybody has a great 4th of July weekend, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.